We're gonna insert a drop down. All right, so in this drop down, I'm going to connect to a SharePoint list. Go to add data. It's gonna be connectors, SharePoint. Looking for TBL calendar SharePoint list. So that's what this is. I have a SharePoint list called TBL underscore calendar that has these three work weeks. So I'm just connecting that to our app. So when I select the drop down, I need to refer to that SharePoint list. So TBL underscore calendar under the items property. And if I go to value, select the work week. So that first work week is 1 2 2023 to 1 7 2023. And that's what shows up here in our drop down. And we should have the rest, and we do. Um, let me move this down a little. Start gallery there. Okay, so I'm gonna rename some of these objects just so it's clear. So this is gonna be called work beat drop down. Going to create some labels here for the days of the week. Now I'm going to have a formula here for each one. So for Days of the week, it's gonna start on Monday. So in the text property of this label, it's gonna say Monday and it's gonna have that date for Monday up here in the label. So there's a formula to do that. So if I expand this label, you'll see I'm just gonna make this a little smaller. So we have Monday, January second, twenty twenty three. I'm simply going to copy this formula. So for Tuesday, change the label. Tuesday. And I'm going to put a plus one. So it shows the date for Tuesday, which is 1-3-2023. See how that works? So, of course, Wednesday, it's 
going to be plus two and so on. Now we'll just stop at uh, Friday. B plus four. And then we're going to have a label for the total. Total. All right. That looks good. Okay, do you have any